back with the Sith Assassin, Ronan, no, I'm just kidding, the Samurai Bone Weaver, Ronan Wraithblade, and his friend, well, not friend, but uh, companion, Lucian, and uh, we are going to be doing some uh, work for Falkreath. Uh, there's some areas that need to be cleared out of some riffraff. And uh, this is a Imperial post. Uh, we are not going to speak directly to Jerkface over there, the Jarl. Um, but uh, we meet directly with the Imperial officer. Uh, he has informed us that there is a group of orcs and a abandoned... Um, castle and we're gonna make our way over there castle fortress potato potato right ah um should we wait because there's some stuff I want to sell and it's weighty mmm come right back all right, we're just gonna go over there. All right, let me fix this. I hope you guys are doing good. I am great. It's uh, I'm excited about this character. Um, he's very experimental. I've never played a dual wielder necromancer. He's got a lot going on, and so I'm kind of still wrapping my mind on how to play this. Get do the RP2 correctly. What I envision is correct. Um, but yeah, it's an interesting concept. Um, so, in my mind, Ronan is very focused on trying to assimilate with the Imperials. Um, where is that? I heard a Sky Shard. I think it's somewhere over there. So, um, yeah. He wants to make a good impression, but also simultaneously, he, uh, you know, he's processing losing basically everything. So this must be the Orc Fortress. All right, let's do this. Uh, by the way, we do not regenerate our health naturally. Um, okay, got one. Wow, Lucian. Bravo. Oh, is there another one? Looks like it. Let's get over there. Do you? No mercy. There is... I do wish that uh, I don't know if necessarily do it with this character but with other characters I could show mercy allow them to yield um, but unfortunately I don't there's probably a mod that lets you do that let me know if you guys do that allows you to uh, allow characters to yield okay I just heard a wolf where is he? Huh. Lucian heard the same wolf. Oh, there it is. Ah, we got it. Nice shooting, Ronin. All right. Well, we can take our first Bone Weaver perk, and we are going to take it in the Conjuration Tree. Uh, here is something special that is exclusive to the Bone Weaver Samurai. Cast Conjuration spells for 50% less magicka, and Conjuration spells less 1% longer per level of Conjuration. And then here's the extra thing. Can summon an additional minion. So, we're basically level 4. But because of our 
build uh, and our training, we are going to be able to um, conjure two summons. So it's going to be very useful for this character. All right. Um, we also can make a necromatic tent. I'll show you guys that. Oh, I'm going to fix that. Okay, let's shut that off. Shut that off. Okay. That is a mod called Predator Vision. Okay, and then I'll throw that there. All right. Let's take their gold. Take whatever they have. So it appears that these guys were hunters. Um, but when we came over here, they were aggressive basically right away. So uh, whatever they're doing, um, they're meeting the occupants of Skyrim with hostility. And uh, that's not okay. All right. Uh, dude, stop. Okay, great. Probably got us killed. Whoa! Wow. So one thing I've been surprised with is with dual wielding, you really do pack a punch you put out damage got him all right we're gonna grab some blood it's great all right we're gonna take the furs all right Worthwhile. All right, the food. Let's see how many more seconds do we? Okay, we're good. They've got about 20 more seconds. Let's see if anyone is in here. Oh, just a giant orc with full orc armor. That's all. Summoning them for the moment. Alright, get behind them. Okay. Want to get another skeleton out? Awesome. So, I don't know if we can take this equipment. Because we're way down. Um, hmm. That sucks. I would love to be able to sell this stuff. That's why I wanted to be able to sell that equipment. Mm. Well, let's see. It's 9 o'clock. You know what? We're going to take what we can. And we're just going to come back. We need money. Um, we have nothing, really. What do we? Yeah, we have a 740. That's not very much. Um, with the economy mods that I run, Trend Barter, where we've really boosted the prices of everything and we've decreased what we can sell things for. And then I have mods where it makes it very expensive. Where did you come from? Huh. Where? Hmm. Yes. So we are going to be pulling all kinds of things off of creatures, uh, whether it be animal or... There's another one. 
animal or human. Wow. Pack the punch. I think a lot of that just has to do with our level, though. What is our armor rating? I'm, I'm curious. 88? Mm. Eh. We could do better. In fact, I'm going to see if we can start improving some of our armor. We'll work on getting some potions. And we are going to go back to that orc stronghold. killed this random hunter hmm all right am I the only one that uh, clears out their weight by eating their the ingredients learning new uh, abilities I can't be the only one okay let's see Are we hungry that's weird who would have killed a, a hunter I don't know um, hmm. Can we eat and take a blood po potion? We're not far away. The lone samurai. The ronin. Okay, so. We're not too far away. So we'll spend a little bit of time in Falkreath, um, just doing some side work for the Imperials, uh, but mainly leveling before we start getting into more focused content. One thing the Rona is going to do as well is hunt Necromancers. Uh, we are no friend to Mano Marco, the King of Worms. Um, and we will uh, exterminate them best we can. Uh, I think the main reason we do this is because the neck mo most necromancers in the eyes of the Bone Weaver Samurai give a bad name to to this uh, magical practice, and that there's there's no reason to ever use this this art you see you like. in this uh what he would just consider a disgraceful way well met some may call this junk me i call them treasures all right we're gonna move a lot of this stuff i guess we don't need this anymore uh i don't know if we i think we already got the enchants ch enchantments off of that uh, we're gonna break that down so, ooh, that's a really cool looking axe. But we are not going to use it. Uh, we're going to read this later. And I think we've cleared out everything that we need for the time. Steal anything from my shop let's see. It. So let's head back. We're going to grab that orc's armor. What I want to start getting is, uh, as soon as possible, really good enchantments for this character. And uh, Grand Soul Gems. Start improving his armor. Oh, yeah, that's right. I want to improve this his armor. Improve his armor as well. Who the heck would have killed a hunter? This is very random. I don't know. Solution with us? Okay, good. Yeah, I don't know if we if we didn't have Lucian, um, how we'd be faring. I kind of want to turn his. Whoa, my friend! Turn his. Greetings. Let's see. Talk tactics. Certainly. Uh, let's talk about your combat style. Yes, of course. You're a warrior. I'll get all up in their face and stab them. Okay. Bye anyway. Good, good for you. you. Okay. Yeah, I kind of want him not to use magic. I don't know why. I just don't envision him as a mage, a magic user. I don't know why. Um, 
I don't know. I think he'll better serve us in that way. Uh, I do like Ronan is, is telling him how to strategically fight. So, to better fit the two of them. So, I've never used Lucian as a follower. So, I'm... Uh, I think he has a quest attached to him. I think he does. So, uh, if he, even if he doesn't, though, that doesn't doesn't bother me. It adds some flavor to this character. Oof, bloody mess. And there's a vault key. Hmm. All right. Is there anything else of value that we need? Take that. All right, so we're starting to get some good gold. That's good. Oh, you know what though? Oh, I can't get any blood from him. Okay. Maybe because he's been sitting too long. Yeah, maybe. Um, I'm not gonna take any of the meat from them. Take some cheese. So let's see, can we do some alchemy? Uh, let's do the little try, try and see what it does. Okay, yeah, so we'll take the restore potions. That'll be very useful. Okay, take the health potion. Grand soul gems are going to be very important to this character. Ench enchanting. Oh, you know what? I just forgot something. Oh, did I already do it? Okay, good. I thought the, uh, the music was turned off. Okay, we'll take the garlic. Alright. Let's move through here st with stealth. Is going on. Okay. Take that. I'm not sure what this place is, but it is locked down like Fort Knox. Take the book. Hmm. Wow. Are they keeping something in? Or keeping something out? Alright. Fortune favors the bold. Alright, let's go this way. Eh! Ridiculous, what was this for? Shard of Meru's razor. Oh! Okay, well we have that now. Huh. Can I open this? Alright, we'll just use a lockpick. Alright, so we have a shard of Meru's razor. Um... I don't think Ronan would make a connection for what that is. Uh, but he can see that it's a part of something important and he at least is probably realizing that uh, would ask himself the question was like why is this you know piece of uh, piece of uh, dagger or sword whatever so well protected? And uh, well, I sorry. think it's. Can you can you move? Terribly sorry. Are you? Okay. Well. Um. I 
think we got everything we needed. We are going to kind of look around, see if there's anything out for us, anything else for us to take. Oh, I also want to put some, let's go into light armor. And when his ugly red head rolled around on the floor. Oh, some excellent singing. Um, we are going to want to see what um, crafting materials we need to improve our armor and our weapons. A cool thing about our swords, I'll show you. They are especially effective against undead. Um, that's by design. We, as a necromancer, we fight necromancers. And um, the particular unit that Ronan is. Sorry about that. The episode is not over. My computer kicked us out of the game. But anyways, what I was saying was the particular unit that Ronan was attached to, they were specialized in taking out uh, undead constructs, uh, specifically from other um, fellow necromancers that were followers of Mano Marco, the King of Worms, whom we absolutely hate. Um, let's see if we can grab a mission. Yeah, we can. All right. Okay. So we're going to go make some potions or sell some. But before we do that... All right. So there's something we can improve. This. Iron. Oh, some of it's kind of expensive. All right. Well, let's just improve what we can. Feels good, but Lord, blades, helmets, so pretty much anything to suit your needs. To Mr. Laud, and we're gonna break down some of these enchantments. See me at my fork if you need arms. Or arms. Uh, let's turn the leather into leather straps. Not leather straps, just cleaned leather. And we're going to want to collect some human skull, uh, skulls. And that sounds a little dark, but that will be for this. And it says that we need two human skulls and a troll skull, which we can all get those materials from what is it, animals. I think we've taken the right perks for it. I hope we have. Let's see. For contra oh no, we haven't. Okay, so I need to take Bone Collector. All right, let's see. Let's break this down. Let's break this down. And do we need to sell anything else? Oh, there's a couple of things. Nothing huge, though. Um, clean up that body. Damn stormcloak rebels! All right. So we are going to. Oh, I just realized. What is it? We need to take a contract for the Jarl. Not directly from the Jarl, though. From his. Uh, whatever she is. Sid Gear can sometimes act too quickly, but he does list. The Jarl has put out a bounty on some bandits. All right. So there's a mine somewhere. All right, so we got one right there and one right there. <laughs> I think what we're gonna do is come up through here and then head back around. Take a look at this decree for details. I feel like I started a new episode. 
because of that that uh, crash. Citizen. Guess what? I'm having coffee. Real shocker, huh? Okay, what time is it? 109. Um, I do need to look up on the uh, mod page how to gain more favor with uh, Hermaeus Mora. I actually don't know how to do that. Alright, we're going to go through here. Do some rock climbing. Uh, by the way, I want to thank everyone for the growth of the channel. Uh, I feel very lucky that any of you guys watch it. And uh, I am excited to make more content in the future. Um, I'm excited as well. That is a bear. About doing stuff with uh, Saga. Having the characters interact. Whoa. Things are happening. Hmm. It's a very conflicting fight. I think. Hey there! No, no, no! Oh my gosh. Watch out. Alright, let's summon another skeleton. Wow. Oh no, that bear. Ah, oh, alright, we'll help them. Alright, just so we don't get any friendly fire. Oh! There's three of them. Um. All right. Oh my gosh. We do want to help them, but we don't want to die either. Uh, they're gonna get absolutely decimated by those bears. <sighs> There's nothing we can do. We have to go. That sucks. But we have to go. And we're gonna have to take a health potion too, because we're not regenerating our uh, health on our own. Okay. Okay. I think we're going in the right direction. All right. Well, we're getting close to the 30-minute mark. I thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next episode.